This is the coolest thing about the Sentinel ships, you guys. Get ready for this. This is amazing. Watch this. Look at that cockpit intro. Are you serious? Look at that. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the new jetpack in No Man's Sky, the interceptor update. Also, the new Sentinel multi-tool and the new Sentinel ships all in the same video, you guys. So, you need to find a corrupted system. In the last video, we did that. So, if you missed that, there is a video linked down below in the description and also in the pinned comment on how to get here. But once you've landed on a corrupted system planet, what you need to do is we need to farm these big purple crystals, these living fragments. We also need to farm a lot of these dissonant resonators, and these are randomly placed along the world. So you're just going to, as you're running around the planet, you're going to run into these at random. You want to farm a lot of these. Now, beware, because as soon as you attack these, the corrupted sentinels will come after you. So be way, really aware of that. So let's do this real fast, and let's go after the uh, sentinels. Boom. Now, these sentinels, because they're corrupted, you can't tell if they're healers or not. They're just, you know, they have flamethrowers. Okay, we have a spider one. Oh my god, we have the spider, the arachnid sentinels. They will come after you. You want to kill these sentinels because they will drop a map that we need, a chart we need to find the next location. So as you're, you know, running around farming, you want to get these guys as much as possible. Now, just be aware. Oh my god, yeah, I'm already getting you destroyed. They already killed my, uh, my shield. That's not good. Holy macaroni. Okay. We need some uh, stuff. Oh, my God. I'm getting destroyed. We did find an echo locator. Look at that. Immediately, we already got one. However, it's going to be randomized. That drop is really randomized. You can run into it immediately like I just did. Or if you are, you know, it's going to take you a little bit of time. I would say, you know, I would suggest just farming, going along. You know, like, I don't want to go to my uh, location right now because... I need to farm some more materials. I need to get some more radiant shards. I need to get some stuff. So make sure you get a lot of these shards before you decide to use that chart. So let me get this real fast. Get all these. Oh, yeah. The um, sentinels are already on top of me. Take out some of these guys. And again, kill the sentinel, but also pick up these barrels. This is what's going to give you that echo chart. You're looking for an echo Locator. That is what you're looking for. It's a randomized drop. It's not a guarantee that you're going to get it immediately like I just did. It's going to happen. You know, it might take you a while, but farm and farm and farm until you get that. So let's grab some of this stuff, and I will see you guys once I'm out of a battle. That way I don't die. Oh, my God. Hopefully, I don't want to show you guys my death. So give me a second. Later that same evening. Okay, so once you've farmed a good amount of resources, like I've gone through, I've gotten a few of these Radiant Shards. I've got a lot of the Ant or the Atlantidium. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And I got one Inverted Mirror. You want to get more than that, but I got one. And I also got one Crystallized Heart. Oh, the most important thing to get is this Echo Locator. You need to use this in order to find a lot of stuff. So this is important. This is a very rare drop. It's going to take some time, but it's worth it. Let's fire this off. It's just like any other chart. You have to press X if you're on Xbox or Square if you're on PlayStation in order to use it. And it, just like any other chart, it will identify a harmony camp. You're looking for a harmonic camp. Excuse me. A harmonic camp. That's what you're looking for. And so that is the nearest one. You can do this without the map, but it's a very big pain in the butt. So... In order to find a harmonic camp without the map, all you have to do is fly low and slow, and you're going to be looking for an encampment, just like if you were looking for a sentinel pillar or something like that. Just fly low and slow. Make sure you're going slow. That way it loads in everything on the ground. It's a pain in the butt. Totally doable, but I would tell you just get the sentinels. It'll be faster in the long run because you might be looking for half an hour, 45 minutes before you run into one, because they're such a random event. I know mine is right over here, so let's fly over here and get down to our harmonic camp. And there's a superheated storm happening right as I land here. So this is what you're looking for from space. It's going to be hard to see that as you're flying by. So I would always suggest get that map, but you can. 
If you're flying by, you'll be able to see it. Now, once you get down to the to the campsite, it's totally safe. There's no like sentinels guarding it or anything like that. But what you want to do is go through these wheelbarrows because this is where you're going to find your jet pack. So let's go through here. We got a multi-tool expansion slot. Uh-oh. There you go. It's going to be giving you random items. I got viscous fluid out of that one. I don't like that one. Let's get out of here. Here we go. Residual goop. And exosuit expansion slot. So we got an upgrade for our inventory. There's another one. There we got some Atlantidium. I want to call that Atlantium, I think. Atlantium sounds better, right? Suspicious packet. What is in there for arms? We got a uh, cyclotron upgrade for our ship. Don't need that. What else do we get? We got runaway mold. So nothing, really, nothing in there. That's fine. The other thing you want to do is there is a base computer right here, a harmonic interface. Now, if you've noticed, I kind of walked over here. There is a weapon terminal, but it's sealed. It's locked. You cannot access this multi-tool. This is a Sentinel multi-tool. I love that. But in order to unlock that box, come over here to the harmonic interface. And you'll see it says, our shells consumed by fire, our minds purged by betrayal, banished to the glass beneath, forgotten by creation. This is the crazy Sentinels talking. But no longer we are given life as something at the Atlas gives life to themselves. We shall create ourselves in our own image. The terminal repeats this message endlessly, a loop chanted out across its circuits. A strange interface glows with a familiar sequence of glyphs. So we need to input the override glyphs. That way we can override the terminal. But we don't know. I mean, you look at we don't know. You have to in input the correct glyphs. And so we don't know which ones we have to use. So instead, go back. Go down to scan memory registers. And then we have register one. That is 19 minus five, which is 14. So one of them is 14. The next one is two plus seven is nine. And the last one is two plus one is three. So 14, nine, and three. Now, as far as I know, you don't need to put this in any sequence, but I like to put them in order. So 14, nine, three. We have to input the override glyphs. So we go all the way to the left. This, I generally put it from left to right. So 14 is our first one. Right here, 14 out of 16. The second one we had is nine. So we're looking for number nine. And the last one is number three. And as far as I know, you don't have to put them in order or any kind of particular order. As long as you get the correct glyphs, you should be okay. However, I like going left to right. And there you go. Compliance. Access granted. Harmony awaits you. Well, I can lift the lockdown. So now it's not locked down anymore. The terminal buzzes uh, discordant, but its circuits do appear to comply with my request. Whatever force was locking down this camp has been lifted. With the lockdown lifted, the terminal spits out blueprints for a piece of hybrid jetpack technology, a fusion of Sentinel and something else. Something familiar and yet distant. So we just got our jetpack from doing our first Echo camp. There we go, the Aeron Turbojet, an exclusive Exojet appearance override. A titanium flight pack assembled from technology stolen from the Sentinel Horde. Its engines are pre-cooled with a constant flow of pugnium and nitrogen, ensuring fuel efficient and deadly silent operation. Warning, do not unseal the pugnium containment chamber without protective gear. Don't mess with your upgrade. Transform the appearance of your exosuit at an appearance modifier. So we need to go to an appearance modifier to change all of this stuff, but we're going to do that a little bit later. So we have our jetpack, yes, but we also have other stuff in here. So let's go back into the interface. The terminal has ceased its digital whaling. I am permitted to access the camp systems so we can deactivate the multi-tool seal. So we just unlock the multi-tool accord. Harmonic seal deactivated. So now we can go over here and grab our multi-tool. This is gonna be the multi-tool that we get from this camp. 
So it is a C class. It's a backup mass scoop. This is the rifle. There are two different variants. You have the rifle that that's this one. And then they have the, the Sentinel pistol. As far as I know, they have no difference in their stats. It's just like any other randomized multi-tool. There's no advantage. Like the um, the alien multi-tool has more damage than any other multi-tool. This does not have any speciality. It's just a cool looking multi-tool, but it has specialized equipment. It literally has a hijacked laser beam instead of a regular mining beam. It works the same. All the upgrades are the same. However, it just looks cooler. So let's compare. And this is my normal multi-tool that I have right now. And this is the new one. You can change it out if you want to, or if you have room, it is absolutely free. You do not need to spend any money on it. You do, however, need to fix this. That's why we were farming stuff earlier. We're going to need to fix all of these broken nodules. So let's take it. So now we have our broken multi-tool. And if we wanted to, we could fix it. Again, you're going to need to farm and get all this equipment. So I would suggest farm a lot. Get all those crystals, get all the inverted mirrors, all the stuff like that, that you want. That way you could fix these cool multi-tools and use it. I mean, you can use it now if you want to. Like, I can go farm if I want to. It's the same, just like any other multi-tool. It just doesn't have all the room because there's some broken stuff on it. Then, the last thing you want to do before you leave, do not leave your, uh, your Echo Camp yet. Because we also need to go find a Sentinel ship. These are really, really cool. So locate a dissonant spike. This is the ships, the new ship type in No Man's Sky with the uh, interceptor update. So let's locate it. Again, it'll locate a crashed sentinel ship. Now, as far as I know, these are not in the wild. Like you're not gonna find one that lands on a trading outpost or anything like that. The only way to get a sentinel ship is to find it crashed like this. So we know it's marked over there. So let's go find our cool sentinel ship. Where is my uh, ship? Okay, let's go. Let's go to that location. I'll see you guys over there. Here it is. We're about to land near it. This is the crashed ship, our crashed sentinel ship. And these are randomly generated. However, they are the same on each planet. So if I find this particular type of ship, it'll always be the same on this planet. Oh, this is looking cool. Yeah, and it's green. So they're different colors. They're all procedurally generated. So they're all different. However, they're the same on the same planet. So if I th if I go find another one on this planet, it'll look exactly the same as this one. Oh man, burned. Okay. So if you once you unlock it, it'll it'll show you all of this stuff. So this is all the stuff you can grab from the ship. You need to take the brain out. This is the most important part. This is the brain of your ship. Take it out, put it in your suit. You can also take this other stuff too, put it in your suit. You're good to go. But now in order to take over and own this ship, we're going to need to actually change out that harmonic brain. And also, if you want to know, this is the name of the ship and this is your class. So if you just see this and you're like, oh, C class, I don't want a C class. It's terrible. You can ignore this one. Go find another one. They're all going to be randomized levels, but they'll all look the same. Every ship will look like this, but they'll be a different level, like a B class or an A-class or an S-class. So I'm going to take this one because I think it's really cool. Look at that one. So now, now that we took the brain out, we need to use the brain to find out where we can reprogram it. So as you hover over it, press X if you're on Xbox or Square if you're on PlayStation, and it will find the closest area to reprogram this brain. So right now, the brain is aggroed on us. It hates us. It does not like us at all. We need to reprogram it so it likes us. That way we can use this ship because the Sentinel ships cannot fly without a brain. So where is our ship? We need to fly over there and reprogram it. Our ship is right here. So let's go over to reprogram this one. And don't worry. If you leave, it'll still mark the location of your ship. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I have to remember where it is. It keeps that marker for you. So you don't have to worry about like trying to remember coordinates or anything like that. It'll keep that marker as long as you're looking for the brain. As long as you have the brain in your inventory, you're good to go. So let's go over here. And it's all these ancient sites are going to be monoliths. So if you find a monolith, you're probably, you could probably go and hack a brain and make it calm down. 
Let's land right here. And let's go t let's go reprogram this brain at the monolith. The ancient site stirs as I approach. Stone scraping against stone. Warmth radiates from the highland brain within my pack as though in response. The mind of the ship child is interlocked with the hive. Current instructions seek and eliminate anomal anomalies. Enmesh the archival sentience with surrogate entity. Yeah, so we're going to present the brain and it will join with us. It'll, it'll actually like us. I fumble with the ship's brain, almost dropping it as it glows unbearably hot in my hands. The pain radiates far beyond my hands. An unearthly heat, a heat that melts glass. Its circuitry shifts and then glows still. The brain seems to accept my presence now. So now we have a harmonic brain. We change the regular brain into a harmonic brain. The central processing unit of the Sentinel in Interceptor ship. The circuitry appears stable, pulsing with regular electrical heartbeats. It no longer reacts angrily to my presence. The status is docile. Install this unit in a disabled Sentinel ship to unlock its vestigial cockpit and enable manual piloting. So basically, when I install this brain into a ship, it will became, become flyable. I'll be able to own it and fly it. So let's go back to our ship now that we have the brain ready to go. And like I said earlier, it'll keep that location marked for you as long as you have the brain in your inventory. So like if I leave the system and come back, this location will still be marked for me. So you don't have to worry about it. I mean, if you destroy the brain, it might go away. I don't know for sure. I've, I haven't tried destroying it. I don't want to because I want to get this ship. Let's land down here and let's get this cool Sentinel ship. Now, you guys, Sentinel ships are pretty freaking epic. So let's go in here. Burned. Now we need to install the brain, but I also need three radiant shards and one inverted mirror. Again, make sure to go farm on these planets. Get all the cool stuff you're going to need in order to take over this ship. So you need minimum three radiant shards, one inverted mirror, and one harmonic brain. So this is our new ship. Let's compare to my trashy hauler. It's going to be way better. And these ships, you don't have to worry about. It's a broken ship, but there's no broken pieces in here. They're not broken. So all the, all that's broken is their brain. So that's it. We've claimed it. This is our new ship. Look at that thing. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so the coolest thing. This is the coolest thing about the Sentinel ships, you guys. Get ready for this. This is amazing. Watch this. Look at that cockpit intro. Are you serious? Look at that. Let me get back out. The windshield is covered in metal and it just fades away. I love the animation in these game in this ship. Look at that. And it just fades away. Oh, it's so cool. And this is the interior of your ship, your cockpit of your Sentinel ships. Now it'll look a little bit different because they're all randomly generated. So if there's like a cover on top, it'll cover that. Mine doesn't have a cover, so this is what it looks like. This is freaking awesome. And then if you want to go into third person, there you go. And watch this takeoff animation. They're going to be different for each one because they're all procedurally generated. Let's see what this one does. Oh, look at that animation. Are you freaking serious? These ships are freaking awesome. And if you land, it's just like a solar ship. The wings just fold back up. Look at this. Boom! That is so freaking cool. There you go. I love it. So there you go. That is how you get your ship, your multi-tool, and all the cool stuff from the new Sentinel Interceptor update. Now, the other thing you want to do is let's go let's go check change out our ship. Also, let's turn on that uh let's go uh, apply our jetpack. Because, dude, the jetpack looks freaking awesome. Now, the, uh, the Sentinel ships, just like the multi-tools, they have specialized stuff. So anti-gravity well, that's your launch thruster in the Sentinel ships. It's going to take pugnium or radiant shards to recharge it. That's crazy, right? The luminance engine, that is your pulse engine. So it takes tritium, just like a regular pulse engine, or radiant shards again. So you want to farm a lot of that cool stuff. The, uh, the crimson core is your hyperdrive. 
So if you have warp cells, you can work there or radiant shards as well. There you go. And then your Arion shield, that's your regular shield. You can also recharge this with sodium, just like a normal ship. And the Sentinel Cannon, dude. Guys, the Sentinel Cannon is way cool. Look at this. Sentinel Cannon is a photon cannon, but it fires faster. As far as I can tell, maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like it fires a lot faster than a regular photon cannon. So the Sentinel Cannon is awesome. And then you have your pilot interface, your brain. This is where you put your brain. So you can't remove this. You can't take it out. You need the brain in order to fly your Sentinel ships. So let's get in here. I can't, I can't wait to see this animation of my wings folding up again. So freaking cool. I love these cool ships. These are my new favorite ships in No Man's Sky. Freaking amazing. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So, just like any other ship, you can upgrade your Sentinel ships as well. So, all you have to do is head over here. You can also scrap it. If you don't like it, you can get rid of it. So, head on over here to the ship outfit or the ship kiosk. And you can go to upgrade. You can also scrap it. I'd get 35 million for this one. I'm not going to scrap it. Upgrade it. And you can apply your augmentations just like a normal ship. Or, if you have the money, I don't have the money, you can purchase the upgrade storage. For 23 million, it's all the costs are the same. And because my uh, ship is a C level, if I had the nanites, I could upgrade this to a, a B, a, an A, or an S class ship. Again, you're going to need all the nanites. It's all the same price as a normal ship, which is really, really cool. I thought it, was, it would cost extra, but it does not. And the same thing goes for your multi-tool. I have my, uh, my Sentinel multi-tool out right now. And it costs the same amount as a normal multi-tool. If you want to upgrade the class or purchase more slots, that way you can put more upgrades in there. Everything is the exact same as a normal multi-tool, except it looks really cool. And you can apply all the same upgrades and it'll work just the same. So don't worry about that. So now the, the, the final piece, the jet pack in the new upgrade. So you want to go down to the backpack? And your jetpack style is going to be up. Wait a minute. Where is it at? Number six. The Aeron Turbojet. Look at that. That is the new jetpack. So we're going to back out. Yes. You can apply the colors and everything just like normal. This is the new jetpack for No Man's Sky. I love it. Look at this thing. It's so freaking cool. I love it. Look at that. Boom. And it has extra, like, thrusters on the side. Like, look at that. That is so freaking cool! I feel like this thing is, like, way too big, though. Like, I'd be walking around smashing into people, like, cutting them with it. Look at that. Just stab them in the head with it. Holy cow. So hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully you guys are excited for the Interceptor update. If you are, hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next video.